Um, welcome to the 12th Annual Fringe Festival. Tonight we have two wonderful shows for you. We have shh actors. They love talking. Um, we have Controlling Interest, which is a short show that is professionally written by someone who I'm sure will be mentioned We're later on. <laughs> that. Um, and it's directed by Naomi and Katie. And um, they'll, they'll be coming up in a second, and then we'll have a short break. We'll change the setup a little bit, a lot of it. And uh, we're going to have a show that's written and directed and everything in between by Tyler Collins. Woo! Always a good time. And that is Gate 17. So without further ado, Naomi and Katie. Gate 17. Woo! True. My name is Katie Collins. False. My name is Naomi Weeds. True. <laughs> True. Her name is Naomi Woods. False. The show is a sad show of horribleness. True. This show is a comedy. False. The characters are adults. True. We know where babies come from. <laughs> False. We're, False. We are experienced act directors. True. We love our cast and crew. False. We hate juice boxes. True. This is Controlling Interest by Wayne Raleigh. False. You will not love this show. Maybe you, you should, should clap now. What can I do for her? Oh, hi, Fred. Uh-huh. 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 Uh, okay, Fred, I'm gonna stop you right there. Yeah, yeah, Fred. The thing is, I, I just don't think you're ready. Okay, well, we're gonna swing. Yes, yes, Fred. On, on the swings. That is where you swing. See, that's what I mean. Okay, Fred, well, well let me ask you this. Can you pump? Jesus Christ, Jack, we're getting creamed out there. Oh, sorry. No problem. Have a seat. Pump. Pump. Can you propel the swing under your own pressure without the need of a second party? Make it go wee. <laughs> okay, Fred, I'll tell you this. We're going to give you a shot tomorrow. But, you can't eat your own boogers. We don't do that anymore. <laughs> Alright, Fred. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Goodbye. Dude still eats his own boogers. Gross. What's up? We're getting killed out there. They got ghost runners on every base. They keep changing where second is. First it's the garage, next it's the flower pot. It's like they're making it up as they go. Uh, Brad, they're big kids. They, we, they expect us to be happy, they're even letting us play. I'm telling you, Stephen. I'm sorry, but that just sounds extreme. I'm telling you, ask Jack. Jack, I'm sorry I missed last week. Is it true we're not eating our own boogers anymore? <laughs> it's true, we're not. I'm sorry, but that just sounds extreme. No, well, if you want a voice in the meeting, Stephen, you're gonna have to come to them. You know that the one thing I don't need in my life is more meetings. Uh, look, I, I, I know. But guys, there's a reason I came, I called you all here today. So please, come and sit down. Jack, you know I'm scheduled to smash, smash an anvil today. I, I, I know. I have to meet Gary for a late lunchable at three. <laughs> look, I, I, I know. But I know you're all busy, fellas. It's, it, it's crazy right now. But just let, hear me out for a second. I've been thinking about this a lot since like this morning. Jesus, and Jack. This morning, man. Wasn't that a bazillion years ago? I know, it's a long time ago. But just hear me out. So I was thinking and considering the possibility of us perhaps, perchance, possibly. Liking girls. Get out of the way! Get out of the door! Hey, door, hey, hey! Door. You don't need that kind of insensitive talk around here, Stephen. Jeez. And besides, 
I think I'll have the agree agreement of the council when I say that you are the dork. You're the dork. You're the dork! No! Uh -huh. uh -huh. Gentlemen, gentlemen! Please! We've been around this flagpole a hundred times, and while you both make excellent cases on who is or is not the dork, <laughs> let's focus on the issue at hand, which is, if I'm hearing you right, Jack, we somehow stop finding them gross and begin liking girls. Yes, thank you, Brad. I'm uncomfortable with this. <laughs> I'll tell you why. Reason number one, they're bigger than us. Like, they're physically taller, and that, that's a new thing, and it, it's frightening for me. <laughs> and number two, well, for some reason, they seem, like, smarter than us, more advanced somehow. <laughs> Not to mention the entire Kudia shit. And that's unsubstantiated. <laughs> unsubstantiated, Jack? Says who? Says who? Okay, well, look at it this way. David, you know your mommy, right? Yes, Jack, I know my mommy. <laughs> well, your mommy's a girl, right? Um, I don't know that. <laughs> oh, she is. Trust me, she is. It's true, David. Her boobies make her a girl. <laughs> What's your point, Jack? Well, what I'm trying to get at is that I think they have something to offer us, and I think we should hear them out. They've sent representatives, two representatives, uh, just to talk with us today. They're in the outer playroom now. <laughs> what? <laughs> Look, guys, I, I know it's crazy right now. Brad, come on, guys, we can do this. This is Jack we're talking about. This is the guy who taught us to make a shadow that looks like a butt on the ceiling holding only your knuckles and a flashlight. <laughs> now we run this bitch and we got all day. Yeah, we yeah. can do this, boy. Let me hear it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Send them in. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Uh, hi. Um, nice to meet you. Welcome to the playroom. Can we... Uh, get you some Legos or something? Thank you. <laughs> my name is Ashley with an EY. My daddy's a policeman and I'm nine. This is my associate, Bethany. I can do short division. <laughs> uh, uh, sit down. Hey, knock it off! It wasn't me. Very wasn't good. Me. Have a nice day, gentlemen. Wait! Damn it, Steven! <laughs> please, please don't go. We, we would like to talk. Please stay. We understand that you are interested in liking us. We are interested in exploring that possibility, yes. And are you ready to discuss the terms? Oh, that's why we're here. Excellent. Bethany? I know how to type. Thank you. And I can speak French. Uh, so, what is it you want? Your complete and undivided attention. <laughs> oh, you've got it. Of course I do. Um, no, no. I mean, your complete and undivided attention until the end of time. That makes me uncomfortable. Uh, <laughs> excuse me? Sorry. In accordance with the terms of the agreement, we will be occupying your every thought, motivation, and decision-making process from the moment you wake up in the morning until the moment you fall asleep at night, at which point we'll play a major role in nine out of ten of your dreams. <laughs> Except one. We do allow one wild card dream, usually a flying dream or a sports dream of some type. That is completely up to you, of course. But everything else becomes, for all intents and purposes, about us. Oh. Right. Until you actually fall in love with one of us, then we pretty much get ten out of ten. Um, I'm not falling in love with anybody. Nah. Right. Bethany, am I missing anything? Mm. <laughs> stop doing stupid stuff. Right. <laughs> and you'll have to stop doing stupid stuff, like playing Star Wars and making laser beam noises with your mouths. <laughs> but like, what if I don't want to stop? Like, what if I don't even care? I don't even want to stop playing Star Wars. Like, what if I just don't even care? <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid that won't be possible. 
Okay, so, like, what are we going to get in return here? I mean, I'm just spitballing here, but it seems like you're asking for a lot. Nine out of ten dream sports flying, I'm... What are you giving back? Knowledge, mostly. We already know everything. <laughs> right. So let me ask you a question, then. Do you ride the school bus? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Where do you get off? In front of my house. Oh, you do? Yeah. You get off in front of your house? Yeah, I get off in front of my house. You get off in front of your house? Yeah, I get off in front of my house. <laughs> you, you get off in front of your house? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. A am I crazy? Or did you just get Brad over here to admit in, in front of all of us that he masturbates in public <laughs> outside of his own house? <laughs> and you can teach us that. That was just a parlor trick. So what? You just, you know everything, right? Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, that's, yeah, it's cool. It seems kind of, um, here towards one person, but um, <laughs> what what else? It seems pretty slim still. Uh, I meant get off the bus. <laughs> oh, we know where babies come from. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, so what? We know where babies come from. They come from the garden. <laughs> With the, with the morning view. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable with this. <laughs> um, well, I think we're going to need some time to think this over. Uh, and, and wow, it's great that you guys came out and everything, but... Oh, uh, and of course, there's the possibility, no guarantees of course, but if you play your cards right, there is the possibility that someday you might possibly be able to see one of us Without a shirt on. <laughs> you, you, uh, you mean like in books with pictures or in person? <laughs> uh, well, you'll probably start out with pictures and books, but someday, who knows? <laughs> Thank you for your time. We will definitely be in touch. I can write cursive. <laughs> um, Jack? It's all the same to you. I'm gonna skip smashing that ankle today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, perfectly fine. Good thing we stopped eating our boogers, eh? <laughs> yeah. Amen, brother. Good thing. I think I might go home to um, comb my hair, lose some weight. <laughs> Jack, how long do you think it's gonna be? You know, till. Get to see them with their shirts off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know, Brad. I, I wish I could tell you, but I just don't know. <laughs> I, mean, I don't even care. Right? Uh, me neither. Jeez. Tell <laughs> <laughs>